Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare My 101 out here with the crew, and I've got something new to show you today, and we're all going to take a, a test run on it. I really like this thing. Now, not long ago, we did a video on the Silky Big Boy, which is a very large uh, silky saw, it's a folding saw. There's, a, there's been a couple people using it on Alone Season 2. Well, on Alone Season 2, Mike Lowe also had a silky saw, but it was a larger non-folding version. Well, I found one that was slightly smaller than his, and this one is called the Silky Zubat. And what's interesting about this one to me is, uh, obviously, it, it's just a regular hand grip. I mean, you can get replacement blades and all that stuff, but it feels a thousand times better than having to do it in a, a folding saw format. I think, you know, with the Baco Laplander has been considered the bushcraft saw for so many years, most people just kind of tend to think and look at only folding saws. This completely changed my mind. So this one has the large teeth, uh, whereas the big boy, I believe, has the extra large teeth. But I really like this thing, so we're all going to take a run at it, uh, maybe compare it to the silky big boy. And it's best thing about this is it's a, you know it's a little bit more expensive than your typical folding saws like the Corona saw you can get for under twenty bucks. This one is more around fifty four bucks. But to me, after having used it, it don't bother me one bit. So if you want to find out if this is something that might work for you, don't go away. All right, guys, so we're out here. Chris just handed me this uh, silky Zubat. You know, if anybody got uh, kids that are really into Pokemon, that kind of makes you laugh a little bit. But um, just from what I can see with it, it's got a little bit of rattle in it. No big deal. It's got two rollers right here. that ha That's kind of the, the locking of it. You know, the rollers. It's kind of hard to do from that angle. Kind of roll out. And that's, that's the locking of the, the sheath itself. You know, I know Silky kind of has the reputation of being just a single directional saw, but you know, this this is a bi-directional saw in, in my mind. It, it cuts the same both directions, forward and back. So I don't know what they're advertising that it is, but in my experience, just looking at it, I can tell you that it, it looks like a bi-directional saw in my opinion. It cuts great. So what we're gonna do is we are the very next video after this one, we're gonna be making a, a birdcage trap. So what we're gonna use this saw to cut the wood for said trap. And that's going to give us the experience with the saw, let you see what the saw can do. And then the very next video on Manus Outdoors will be that trap video, so make sure you look out for that. There's a big dead piece right here, so several inches in diameter. This is really, I mean, this handle, just just the, the design, the shape of everything, it just makes it extremely easy. So much more ergonomically uh, superior for sawing as opposed to, you know, like the typical folding saws where your hand's up here. It just is... smooth this is easy really easy so let's get some more stuff so here's the last new saw we got that was that was the silky big boy and as you well as you can see fold it up yeah freaking something going on at campground not far away it, I mean it's almost the freaking exact same size But when it's open, it's got almost the same size blade. It's a little more curved. It's lighter, 
easier to handle. And when you're up closer to the saw teeth, as you know, like Will, Will hates this thing because it always unlocks it. So yeah, you could probably get a little bit more reach with this, but this is just, to me, a lot easier. So let's cut a couple other pieces here. things nice and hard. That's a good solid piece of wood, not some little, you know, live twig. But it was a piece of cake with this. I mean, even overhand. this thing. This thing is great. So here we got this super dry, super hard uh, maple that I cut down for that last Jessica X video. So this is hard stuff. How'd that feel? Felt pretty good. All right, you want to try that with what you're used, what, what yeah, you're I'm used to, the Baco. Baco, and compare that. Every bush crafter has a Baco, so it's getting kind of a. Well, the uh, Zubot. It feels like it's a lot less work to use the Zubot compared to the Baco. The Baco's good sharp but it doesn't cut quite as well as the Zuba to be honest and with the Baco there's of course a shorter stroke good point about the Baco is it holds up too but you can tell the Zuba throws the Baco away in its cutting capability a lot more work to use the Baco and this is a saw that she's used to using. It's wearing me out. That's how hard this yeah. material is. But let me have that one again, please. And then I'll I'm gonna finish that with this actually. Same spot. Piece of wood. Oh, I did a one stick fire with it last week. <laughs> it's a lot easier to use this, even if you want to say easy. easier to use this compared to the box. Okay, I'm shooting this clip probably about six hours after I did most of the uh, clips for this video testing out this saw. And I've continued using this all day as we've been working on other things, you know, just getting, cutting up dead wood to process for our tests and stuff like that. The more that I use this, the more that I freaking love it. Uh, this right here, 
we started, we didn't have like any kind of primitive shelter at this location. So start playing around with something that I can utilize with bush, with uh, base camp in a bag. All these probably did all this in like five minutes with this saw. Very, I mean, the very hard uh, maple that I processed last week in the Jessica X video. Uh, just stuff playing all, I mean, it's, this thing works so freaking good. I can't believe it. I mean, the big, the silky big boy feels awkward to me now. Uh, that was like my big saw, but it's like, I don't know that I want to go back to folding saws. I still like the Corona. I still like the Corona for a folding saw. That one is great, but what I'm going to start buying, what I'm going to start investigating more, are these silky saws like this. So the next one I'm probably going <laughs> to... Yeah, I can't remember. They got all these goofy huh? names. It's like Sugawaza. Like oh, yeah, hey, we're filming. Oh, we didn't know that. Jeez. Ah. See, what I, see what I deal with here? I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, Suga something or other. I'll put it on the screen here. That's the one Mike used on on alone, uh, and it's about if I if I remember correctly, it's about got a two inch longer blade, and it, it jumps from the large teeth to the extra large teeth, and that one's more like seventy bucks, but hmm, Mike seems to like it. So I just wanted to throw that a little extra clip in here after I've been using this for several more hours. I mean. When it comes time to cut something with all the saws we got laying around here, I go straight for this. So, being the first time that I've actually used this out in the woods, I mean, I played around with it in the backyard a little bit, uh, trimming trees. But, you know, I'm probably not going to show everything. You know, got to make this video a reasonable time frame. But I'm really impressed by this thing. It is so light and works so well. It's just, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm still going to use my Corona saw because it's a good packable saw. But, I mean, yeah. for someone that's only used Bacos before. A lot, a lot, uh, a lot, lot easier to use, a lot less work. It, for it, sure. No I, doubt. I don't know where, where we all kind of got into this thing where it's got to be a folding saw. Why? Uh, the, well, the Baco is more of a, a crafting saw because it's smaller. It's It goes both ways. But when I'm looking at cutting something a little bit bigger you know I like I like the larger blades personally that's for just how I use sauce but you gonna get one I think I will for the larger stuff because uh, that was a whole lot easier to use than the Baco well, I bought this on Amazon myself it was about 53 54 bucks or whatever and now that I've actually tested it out I am going to put it on the Amazon store I was impressed Putting that around when you do Spin what around? That camera. Oh, okay. Will's got two cents he wants to add. Five so, cents. So five <laughs> Adjusted cents. Adjusted for inflation. <laughs> okay. So it'll be in the store. Links will be in the description box below. Will's going to tell you all about how he loves Baco still. Jesus, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like that saw. It's pretty cool. Um, but for something like this, the little stuff that I'm doing right now, building this trap, that could be a little cumbersome for, you know, what I'm doing right now, which is just making yeah. the smaller pieces of my trap. That could be something that's in my pack and uh, ready you know, for me to use when I need it for the bigger stuff. I'm still gonna carry a bucket. That's why I said that's more like for the crafting stuff, yeah. like what yeah. you're doing right there. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, doing something, using something this big to make little tiny pieces for trap. I mean, that's what I like, that's what Bobco's are good for to me. Like when you're making little things, making figure fours or any kind of traps, things like that, yeah totally get that and that's why it's a bushcrafter saw but when I want to take bigger pieces I mean it's the right tool for the right job it's a lot of different saws out there it just depends on what you want to do with it so other than that Chris from prepare my 101 and Bobby and Will's over there we got Jeff Rob with this from common sense camper thanks for watching Be sure to check the links in the description box below and we'll be back with another video here soon so see you then